Welcome back to Z Tutorials. This is our HTML and CSS course, and we're moving nicely along now. We have our our the main part of the website done, and we're moving on to putting in our contact form. Now, a lot of people want to know how to do this contact form, um, but it is kind of difficult, and we're going to move on to how to make it ourselves later on. But this is a nice, simple way, and it works perfectly. No one's going to know you did it this way. It looks very, very good on the website, and it's customizable as well through CSS. It's called emailmeform.com. Just sign up for a free account there. If you don't have a free account, you can just log in like I am now. Um, it's very, very easy. It's free. It only takes a few minutes to line up. These are my forms I have at the moment, pre-done. Just click on Add a Form here, and you want to go to the Take Me to the Form Builder because you want to create your own form. It's very, very customizable. As you can see, there's loads of settings there. Just click on whatever you want to rename it or to edit some settings in it. So let's rename this form title here and call it Geek Talk Contact. And you can put in a description there if you want, but I don't really need a description there. Uh, you can put in your thank you note. It says when it sent the message, it'll give you a confirmation. Um, you can redirect it to a part of the website. So let's say you could redirect it to the home page, geektalk.tk. Or if you had a page made out, you could um, put it to a thank you page. So forward slash thank you. That's if you have that page done, um, just so people know that it was sent. Then it just has some other options there that you can mess around with yourself. Then just go to add a field. There's loads of things you can add. You can add a name where you must, they must put in their first name and last, last name so you know who you're talking to. Uh, we r really don't need that. Yes, please delete this field. You can put in a single line text. So you can call this the subject line where they put in what they're on about. So let's say they want to do hire me. Then that's what they put in as the subject. Next, you could have your email. And if the email goes under, you can just click and drag things to move them along. So the email will go on top. Uh, you can put in options required. Obviously, you want the email to be required. Otherwise, you won't be able to really write to them back, and that's not much good now, is it? You can add another field, so you could add a, a paragraph text, which is where they'll send their message. So just click on it to rename it or to edit it. We're going to call this message. You can mess around with how much columns and rows they have as well. And basically, it's got an image verif verification there. Um, if you don't want that, you can delete it, but I think it's good. It makes it look more professional anyway. When you're done and where you're where messing around with it, you can just press save form. It'll give you a lot of options. You just want to take it back to the form manager. And there it is, Geek Talk Contact. Now it gives you some options here. It says data, edit, view, notifications, code, and statistics. Now if you go to edit, when you sign up, you must put in your email. And that is the email there, ztutorials at gmail.com. That's where it'll be sent to. Uh, it'll ask you loads of options. You don't really need to answer any, but uh, if you want to customize it a bit more, that's what you go into. Um, we'll just get out of that now. Your code is there. Your statistics is basically how many times people have sent the message to and all that. Now, when you go to get the code, there's three types. You have HTML and JavaScript, HTML only, and HTML for the button. Now, you just want the HTML with JavaScript. That's basically the CSS is included, so you don't have to do all that work of messing around with the CSS. Now when we pop into Dream, if we want to make a new file, so just right click on the folder and go to new file. Now I'm going to show you a little mess up here. When I press contact and refresh it, the contact page goes blank as you can see down there. Now that's not meant to happen, delete that. It's because we didn't say a file extension. Now file extension is the .html, the .css. Ours is going to be a HTML document, so that's what we want there. And when I press refresh, it stays at a HTML document. Now when I open that up, it's just a blank page, and that's not really what I want. I want the header to be there, and I don't want to do it all over again. So I'm just going to cheat a little bit here, and I'm just going to find my uh, folder that I have it all in. And I'm just going to copy that index page there. If I double click, that's the page we made. I'm just going to right click on it and copy, or control C, and control V to paste it, or right click paste. And we're going to call this contact. Now you don't need to put in .html there because you're actually copying a HTML document. And then when we refresh this down here in the panel, in our files panel, and double click on the contact, it opens up and it's just exactly the same as the home page. Let's just delete all the stuff we don't want. We don't want all this. We don't want the video embedded. We don't want all those div tags. We don't want this spray collapse for the panel. And when you're 
done deleting stuff just pop into your code view um, go down to where you the right content area and make sure everything is deleted our spray isn't deleted there we're just going to delete that div class and then we just want to paste in the code basically there's nothing to it you just copy it from the website uh, I mustn't have copied it already so I'll just go back into the form now once again you do want the HTML with JavaScript or the CSS so that you won't have to be working with it all over and then when you paste it just gives you this huge code and when you go into design view it just looks like a simple table now it is very very simple you guys you really don't want to be making this in code yourselves unless you get really confident at doing HTML and CSS when I preview that in the browser it looks pretty good it's got its um, email there it's got its message um, the subject line its image verification but it's not centered and it's not centered because we don't have a div tag around it now we're just going to center this and we're just you can put a border around the div then you can edit divs to whatever way you want you can put background colors so I'm just going to put a div class contact form now if you don't know how to do all these div div tags and div ID div classes you need to go back and watch my other tutorials if you're new to this but for those of you who have been following my tutorials you all know how to do this anyway so there should be no problem now we go into that our div is there but as you can see as usual it's set to auto everything go into our style.css document up there at the top we're going to use the period sign and contact form because it is a class the hashtag hash key for um, our ID use our two curling brackets we're going to specify a height of auto and a width of let's just guess here 660 pixels now just mess around with this till you get the width right because I honestly don't know the width of yours what yours is going to be and um, we're going to put the margin left and the margin right to auto let's just see how that looked yeah 660 is way too much there you can see the div in the red there and um, we're going to bring that all the way down to about 450 see how that looks uh, it might be a bit too tight there we'll try for 90 all right, it's a bit too big, but it'll do. It's fine. We do. We don't need to worry about this. It's just it's only a tutorial. So there you go. It's nicely centered. We can push that down as well by doing margin top to 20 or 30 pixels, but I'm not going to worry about it. And that is our form contact form done. Now it works perfectly. Believe me, I have one of these set up on my own site. I plan on doing my own custom one, but I just don't have time to do it with all these tutorials. So yeah, you just put in the email, the subject, the message, and it just pops up in your email. Um, say your Gmail just like normal it's perfect it works very very well so that's all i got for you guys i hope you liked it give it a thumbs up if you did make sure you hit that subscribe button it really does help me out and of course there's loads of tutorials on this html and css course so you will be learning by subscribing to me i'm thinking of um putting out about three videos a week if i can if i have time to do it i think i will definitely two videos a week but hopefully three videos and the next video is going to be probably about putting in our navigation bar at the top there I'm gonna do um, a navigation bar where it's got a rollover a rollover effect so it looks really really cool and really professional uh, then we're gonna do a drop shadow we're gonna work on it we're gonna put in our Google Ads uh, we're gonna put it live on the web we're gonna do everything here you guys so there's no need to worry about it you are gonna learn with me thanks for watching and this is Z Tutorials signing out